Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Chris again. Today I'm not going to do an axe video. Today I'm going to do an upgrade video. A lot of people ask me uh, what are upgrades that you can do for your gun and what are the best upgrades you can buy. First off, before you even think about upgrading your gun, especially if you're a new player, you want to think about upgrading your gear. Like, you know, investing in your own mask. I have... I just so happen to have the limited edition die fours, but I would buy any pair of die fours again if I need to because they're, you know, comfortable. The thing about having your own mask is you know that you're the only one going to be wearing it. You can keep it clean. It's not going to be a crappy field mask, and you know that the lenses in it are up to date and there's no scratches or you know breaks in the lens. Second, you know you want to make sure that uh, you invest in some protection. So you know a good pair of gloves like these from Empire uh, they go they fit like this I mean, they fit like this long time so you can see two of my fingers stick out now I prefer to play like this because you know I play left and right <clears throat> but you know you can buy full finger gloves I have a video uh, with Emperor Braille gloves that uh if you watch that, it shows you how to cut them so that you can still walk the trigger with them. But these are really nice. Uh, I suggest you get gloves that have gel padding, some finger coverage, and a nice little spot on the wrist, and the uh, medical Velcro on them. Because, you know, I've thrown these through the washer plenty of times, and, you know, this is still, it's starting to go, but they're still holding up pretty well. Uh, the next thing you want to invest in, which I highly, highly, highly suggest, is elbow pads. I have the invert elbow pads, and, you know, they're not that bad. Everyone has their own thing to say about them. A lot of people say that they're too formed, meaning that, as you can see, they're formed to the shape of a bent elbow. All that does is when you're standing still, it gives you a bulge on your elbow, and that's it. They're perfectly comfortable. They're actually really, really soft. They're, like gel core in the center they bend they flex they're really nice and it keeps your elbows out of rocks and I don't know how many times I've been playing snake and I'll go elbow to knee and I'll elbow on a stake or you know slide over a bottle cap even on my elbows and it hurts like hell so invest in some elbows the next thing that you definitely need without a doubt a good pair of knee pads. These are the uh, Empire Grind ZN uh, knee pads from last year. So they're the uh, 2011 edition. And these things are tough. I mean, gel foam core, you know, huge padding, ultra flexible, really light. As you can see on the back, it's got this uh, elastic material. It's got a uh, gel edged elastic band with adjustable uh, velcro like I said it's just like the elbow thing you know I've just taken bad slides even playing woods ball and uh, I, it was some um, last year a few months ago I was playing with three of my friends well three of my friends went with me and uh, I took a bad slide before I had knee pads and I just hit this soft part of my knee on the ground and my knee was swollen for a week. So, you know, invest in some knee pads. It'll save you in the long run. The next thing you need, I definitely, definitely always wear your slider shorts. Good slider shorts will do wonders for you. You know, they've got crotch protection, you know. No one wants to get shot in the nads. It sucks got hip protection for when you're taking slides where your pants don't cover but the biggest thing is crotch protection and it's actually got a little bit of butt protection too but crotch protection I've been shot in the nuts with these on before and even though it still hurt it probably saved my nuts <laughs> so you know crotch protection you definitely need it next let's look at uh, jerseys you know I have a uh, I'm going to do a review on uh, Sunday, probably, of my new jersey that I'm getting for Christmas, but this is the first jersey I ever bought, you know, battle-tested, uh, 
BT jersey, you know, just camouflage. But I like it. It's got a little bit of shoulder protection. It's got some decent, not decent, but it's got elbow protection. It's got a colorino palm so you can wipe your lenses. But, you know, it's breathable too. But it's a jersey and it's better than nothing. Next thing is pants. You definitely want pants that are really good, you know? Uh, again, I have the battle-tested pants that go with the jersey, but you want pants that have nice knee pads. These are Kevlar knee pads. It's got, uh... Some really thick crotch protection, as you can see. Well, not unless I zip it. As you can see, it's got really nice crotch protection, you know, it's got knee pads, it's got uh, mesh in it, it's got elastic, it's got, I love these Velcro belts that are built in, it's got squeegee pockets and everything you need, so, those are really good to have. Um, the next thing you want to upgrade, or not even upgrade, the next thing you want is you know check your squeegees get some swabs I, I have no squeegees I just use swabs which is you know probably gonna be the downfall of me but you know I use swabs get over it make sure you have enough swabs next thing you want to get I highly suggest is a little chronograph I got this I just googled chronographs and went to a market or whatever it is bought it for sixty dollars so you know, you know Chronographs are a great thing to invest in because it'll help you diagnose a lot of problems with your marker. Next thing you want to get, a good loader, you know, I don't care, I had a uh, Viewforce or V-Force or whatever, gave it to my friend, it still works, it keeps him from chopping balls on his spider. I used it on my spider and he has an 09 Pilot, I just have one of the stupid extra customs that doesn't even have a board in it. The best thing you can do is get a good loader. It'll help you from chopping paint like crazy. Make sure it's got a good lid on it too so that way you're not breaking it. Uh, my pod pack's in my closet, so, you know. But you want to get a good pod pack. If you want to you wanna place your pod pack, if, uh, you know, it's falling apart, if the threads are coming out or something. But, um, all up to that, you need to make sure all of your gear is up upgraded and everything before you decide to go and upgrade the marker. Another great, great, great thing that you should get is absolutely a pair of cleats. I can't tell you how many people come out and don't have cleats on. They're just wearing like vans. And I mean they play every time they come out in vans. I wear my uh, soccer cleats. You know, it's the off season right now. I have a pair of uh, Vapor 3 Mercurials from Nike that I wear for soccer or for paintball. I'm getting a pair of HK Army shredders soon. Invest in some shredders, invest in soccer cleats. The best thing you can get is uh, football cleats if you can't get uh, shredders or the uh, exalts. So make sure you get a good pair of cleats because you can't be out of there on the field slipping and sliding all over the place. It just sucks. So now that we're up to date on that and everything, gun upgrades. The first thing I suggest you do on your gun is uh get some new eyes obviously this is the uh stock eyes for the empire axe i have the virtual eye board in there already next thing uh you know if your gun doesn't have an asa get an asa if your gun doesn't have an upgraded bolt get an upgraded bolt with a spring kit if you want uh put color accents on your gun if you want i don't care make sure you get a good barrel load i suggest either a cp2 piece or a freak barrel, you know, freak junior, freak one piece barrel, a CP one piece barrel, even. They're great barrels. Make sure you get a 689 or a 691 insert or bore on it. That will save you money in the long run. Uh, barrel kits they cost anywhere from 120 to 200 dollars, and you know you can buy one barrel and save yourself so much money just by buying a freak barrel and putting a little fucking inserts in there. They're $12 for an insert. Just buy two of them and you'll be set for the rest of your life. Um, after that, if you want to, yeah, you can throw a, 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 a 
virtue board or something in your gun. I'm putting an OLED board in my gun, but that's because I intend to use the uh, training modes on it and everything when I'm not playing. Um, damn, what was I gonna say? Uh, upgrade your trigger if you need to. Upgrade the ASA. You know, just do what you gotta do to get your shit done. Make sure you always have good lenses in your goggles, uh, cleats. Just, you know, hold it down, man. You don't want your stuff crapping out on you at the field. So, I hope this helped, and thank you for watching.